Well, everyone, you might be in a situation where your Xbox One is stuck on the black screen of death. Now, this basically means that your Xbox One, it might look like it's booting up, but it's just not going through and actually powering on the console. So the first thing I would recommend doing here, and a lot of people, what they recommend is just going through and making sure your HDMI cable is properly plugged into that Xbox. Typically, if you're ever having any issues with your console, you can just try going through and just making sure that HDMI cord wasn't randomly plugged out and plugged in. From my experience, that's usually the number one thing that can happen. So just make sure that is not the case and that may end up fixing the situation. Now, another thing you can try doing here in this specific example as well, is just trying to see if, if there's a specific game that ends up causing these issues every time you boot the game up. So basically, if you're able to get into your home screen and everything and everything looks fine, but it's always whenever you load up this specific game, let's say it's Fortnite, for example, and for some reason it doesn't get through the you know black screen after loading, typically a reason why this may end up happening is because one, there's an issue with that game, or two, there's just maybe an issue with your specific console and it running out of storage or not having a you know proper update for that game. So there's a few things you can do here. One, you can make a little bit more storage in your console by deleting some other games, deleting some other content. But another thing you can do is by seeing if there's an update available for that game. So you can try reinstalling that game. That's another thing you can try doing. Or you can just go through and see if there's an update available for that game or if there's an update available for your console. Typically, if there's any issue going on with your console itself, uh, a simple update can actually end up fixing this issue. And if your console is on a very outdated version of the software, well, that's typically another thing you can try doing is just going through updating your console and just seeing if that ends up fixing it too. So that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.